Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum everyone. Today we are going to conduct lecture number 20 of this session, uh, this lecture series. And today's topic is multi-stage pipeline in PIC microcontroller. So let's start our topic. Uh, before we go and discuss what is multi-stage pipeline, let's discuss uh, the thing which we have already seen in the previous lectures. We know that time required to complete one execution of a single instruction is known as instruction time or instruction time cycle. He further investigated that the, these uh, uh, instruction cycles are individually can be segregated into four individual steps, which are known as decode, read, process, and write, right? So this thing we have already seen, so I will not be discussing, but I will uh, discuss the crux of, the, crux of uh, the conclusion that every single instruction execution includes these basic four steps, which includes decode. Decode means a translation of assembly to machine conversion or understanding what is supposed to happen. Then we read. Read means uh, to access the operands from memory or input device. Then the process means applying the specific operation on those operands which we have retrieved in read process. And then we come to write operation. Write operation means once your uh, task is done, you have to send, you have to save it either in the memory or in the output device. So that procedure is known as write. So these are basic four individual steps which are performed in single clock cycles. And that is why we say that instruction frequency is one fourth of crystal oscillator frequency, right? So uh, before we go and discuss further, let's assume we have three instructions uh, included in one single program that we want to execute. So what will be the very first step? First of all, we have to uh, fetch the very first instruction. So that is the thing, uh, the fetch one, right? So very first thing uh, is that, first of all, you have to fetch very first instruction, which is called fetch one. Right, and then we have to execute it. And this execution of first instruction is composition of these three, four words, uh, decode, read, process, and write. So you can say that one instruction cycle or a certain time duration has already consumed in fetching and other instruction cycle is consumed in uh, execution of one, inst uh, execution of instruction one, right? Then we proceed further. Uh, We know that one instruction cycle is consumed in fetch one and other instruction cycle is consumed in fetch two. So let's, uh, uh, what will be the next procedure? We have to fetch the next instruction. So this will be the third step, the fetch two, right? So in this cycle, only fetching of second execution or second instruction will be performed. And then what we do, we will execute the second instruction, which is fetch. So it will again perform these four processes and execute it. So you can see that, you can say that uh, this much amount of time is already lapsed in the execution of two instruction. And once we gonna uh, fetch the third instruction, so it will consume another time or instruction time, and then we will execute and repeat the same procedure for third instruction. So uh, this is one, 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 and one. So if we scale it down and uh, sum it up, up, it is equal to six instruction cycles uh, are consumed in three instructions, right? So this is the, or you can say, uh, this amount of time is consumed in six, uh, by six times, by the factor of six times in the execution of these three instructions. But here we haven't used any uh, technique, which is the topic of today's lecture, which is multi-stage uh, pipelining. So we are consuming this amount of time. You can say six cycles or whatever you say, uh, if you, if, uh, or six units of cycle, six units of time, right? I will say six units of time. Now let's repeat this procedure with the execution of, uh, or with the implementation of instruction pipeline. So what we are going to do, we are, we are going to implement stage uh, multi 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 stage pipeline and how are we going to do it let's assume the same example in which three instructions are included and we will be execute uh, fetching and executing them so first of all it is the similar procedure what happened that first of all you have to fetch the very first instruction so it will consume 
one unit of time, right? Then you will go and execute it. Okay, this is also almost similar. And in execution, you will perform all those three basic steps, decode, read, process, and write. Okay, and this is the similar what we have done in the last example or last scenario. But the, what is new thing to in this scenario that is along with the execution, while this execution of first instruction is under progress, you have to fetch the next instruction as well beside it, right? So that is what happening. Look, in the same cycle, not only the execution of the previous instruction, which is already fetched and present in the CPU is being taking place, but the, the fetch, fetching of the next instruction or uh, next instruction, which is to be executed is being fetched during the same procedure. So what is going to happen next? While this second instruction goes under the procedure of execution, we can actually fetch the third number instruction, right? So third instruction is being fetched while second instruction is already under the process of execution. And then we uh, execute this third instruction in the next cycle. So if you count the number of units or time units, you actually counted one, then two, and then three and then four. So you consume only four units this time. If you remember in last scenario, we consume six different units of time intervals, um, but here we are uh, saving two time intervals. So that means multi-stage pipelining saves some time for you while uh, CPU is executing the overall execution of program. This is just for three instruction. If you scale, it up up to 100 instruction code, you can actually see the difference between the execution time and this will increase uh, or this will speed up overall procedure very fast. I hope you have understand the concept of multi-stage pipelining. If I summarize in one line, it, so it says whenever the already instruction, which is fast, already fast instruction in CPU is executed. Meanwhile, uh, CPU also patches down the next instruction. This is called multi-stage pipeline in PIC microcontroller. I hope you have understand the concept. Thank you so much for listening. If you have any cons, if you have any confusion, please post in comment section.